everyone, myself I am Dr. P. Sai Krishna, currently practicing oral and maxillofacial surgery. Here is a case of uh, post-operative amyloblastoma where the segmental resection was done from the distal aspect of the 47 including the condylar component. Now the patient complains of hollowing on the face. It is mainly because as there was no ramal component uh, which maintains the contour of the face and she also complains of the deviation of the jaw when she tries to open her mouth a bit wide or during the time of chewing. So uh, it is mainly because as there is only one working condyle, that was the problem we are uh, she is facing currently. So as to uh, give her aesthetic uh, outcome as well as the functional outcome, we planned the case for total joint replacement. This was the 3D CT model of the skull uh, which was printed after taking the CBCT. Here you can clearly see there was a segmental resection that was done and uh, there was no condylar component so basically they have placed the reconstruction plate uh, which without any condylar component as well so the patient is having hollowness as well as it is not maintaining the contour of the face where on the opposite side you can see uh, because of the ramal and condylar component that was retained so one side hollowness is seen as well as this condyle is functional condyle and during the patient while opening her mouth, there was deviation towards the condyle which is working. This is what I was explaining about. Uh, there will be two components. One is one will be replacing the glenoid fossa component, and with, which will be anchored to the zygomatic arch. Whereas the second one will be the uh, ramal component. Uh, the ramal component will be basically taking uh, support from the uh, till the opposite quadrant, uh, and it will be taking support from the basal bone. Uh, the glenoid fossa component was made completely with the high molecular weight polyether ether ketone whereas the lower ramal component was made with the titanium.